let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. This is private property. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. It's as now, if before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. This is all just smoke and mirrors and fictional nonsense. I thought you had a head on those shoulders. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing, even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set, then? I have some questions. Shoot. How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. You all set, then? 
What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Anything else? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Are we good here? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. 